I think many people miss the point of, of Falcon altogether. Falcon is not about creating a simulation about an F-16. It's about simulating the experience of an F-16 pilot. As soon as you hop into the airplane, you'll notice that it's a Block 52 airplane instead of the old Block 15, and it's been updated to, to work like today's F-16s. We've got all the radar modes. There's over 10 different radar modes, air-to-air -air and air-to-ground. The HUD has 10, over 10 different modes for different weapons. All the avionics are really detailed. And then, of course, we've got the campaign in the background so that you'll be flying along and you'll hear about battles that are 50 miles away and you'll get AWACS calls about what's going on so that you feel like you're really in an actual war. Falcon 4L's uh, first objective is to take today's technology and upgrade what you saw in Falcon 3L. So we're going to take advantage of special 3D hardware boards, we're going to have state-of-the-art graphics, high-resolution satellite detail, texture map terrain. We're then going to put in communications at the next level to allow people to play across the internet. So these are the kinds of things that are obvious decisions that a person designing Falcon 4.0 would learn from Falcon 3.0. But we're also going to take Falcon 4L one step further in the experience. What we're going to try to give the player a better experience in flying his or her aircraft is by creating the sense that there are other people in the world, that there are other pilots that you care about. When Falcon 4 comes out, it's going to be the closest thing to being in a war there is. We've set it up so that there's a, war, a real war going on around you. You've got the terrain system that looks like the real terrain. Your airplane flies like the real airplane and everything's going to be there to make you feel like you are there.